The Warrior Warts by Pamela Duncan Edwards, illustrated by Henry Cole. The Warrior Warts. One warm Wednesday morning, the sun winked through Wombat's window and woke her up. What a wonderful day to wander the world, she thought. Wombat went to ask Weasel and Woodchuck whether they would go with her. Where is the world? asked Weasel. Past the wishing well, down the pathway, and through the woods, answered Woodchuck, who was very well read. So they set to work, wondering what to take with them. Wombat wanted watercrust on whole wheat bread sandwiches, walnut wafers, waffles with whipped cream, edges of watermelon, and her walking stick. Weasel wanted wieners and liverwurst, and his water pistol. Woodchuck wanted the W volume of Webster's Book of Words in case they needed to look up information about the world. But when Wombat began to worry, Wait, she wailed. What if? We're walking past the wallflowers and a swarm of wasps is waiting. What if they swirl around us and we've, we've nothing to swat them with? What if we're running away and we're not watching where we're going and suddenly we're wading up to our waists in water? What if a wave whooshes over us and a walling walrus swims up and swallows us? What then? If we're going swimming, said Weasel, I want to wear my water wings. You're so wise, Weasel, cried Wombat. We won't be worrywarts. But then Weasel began to worry. Wait, he wailed. What if... We're waltzing down the pathway when a wicked wolf comes winding his way towards us. What if we wave to him, but he won't wag his tail? What if we're running away when the weather worsens? What if a whirlwind blows in front of the west and sweeps us away into the wilderness? What then? If it's going to be windy, said Woodchuck, I want to wear my woolly underwear. You're so wise, Woodchuck, cried Weasel. We won't be worrywarts. But then Woodchuck began to worry. Wait, he wailed. What if we're whistling while we walk through the woods and we wake up an owl? What if he gets worked up and swoops down with the swish of his wings and whisks us away? What if? The weight's too much for him, and he begins to wobble. What if he drops us into a swamp, and a warthog comes waddling along and wallow, wallops us? What then? If we're going flying, said Wombat, I want to wear my wind helmet. You're so wise, Wombat, cried Woodchuck. We won't be warrywarts. Then, without wasting any more time, they wrapped their water crest on whole wheat bread sandwiches, the waffles with whipped cream, the walnut wafers, the edges of watermelon, and the wieners and liverwurst in wax paper. Woodchuck put the W volume of Webster's book of words into his wheelbarrow, and away they went to wander the world. After a while, Wombat said, I was wondering whether we should eat our sandwiches. So they sat on a wall. They played with a wiggly worm and watched a spider weaving a web on the wisteria. But suddenly, watch out, warned a woodpecker from a weeping willow tree. Something whooshed around Wombat's watercrest on a whole wheat bread and sandwiches. A wasp, she cried. Swiftly, Wombat whacked the air with her walking stick and whizzed a edge of watermelon into some weed. Wow, whooped the wasp, watermelon, mouth-watering, and the wasp went winging away. Well done, Wombat, 
cried Weasel and Woodchuck. You were wonderful. You're welcome, said Wombat. And they set off again to wander the world. But suddenly, watch out, came a whisper from a rabbit warren. Someone came, swaggering down the pathway toward them. Whoops, cried Weasel, a wicked wolf. Swiftly, Weasel twirled his wieners and liverwurst into some wildflowers and swooshed his water pistol at the wolf. Wieners and liverwurst, cried Wolf, wiping his wet whiskers. I'm wild about wieners and liverwurst. Away he went with his tail wagging. Way to go, cried Wombat and Woodchuck. You were very willy weasel. We weren't wimps, agreed Weasel, and they set off again to wander the world. But suddenly, watch out, warbled a wagtail. Woodchuck saw an eye twinkling behind a twig. An owl, he cried. Swiftly, Woodchuck whirled his W volume of Webster's Book of Words at the owl. Whang! Whoopee! cried the owl. This is what I wanted to help me win my word game. You're so wise, Woodchuck, said Wombat and Weasel. We've walked a long way, said Wombat. I'm weak and weary, said Weasel. I'm worn out, said Woodchuck. So they went back along the pathway. When will we wander the world again? wondered Wombat. I wish we could do it again next week, said Weasel. Why not? said Woodchuck. But what if, 